Liverpool are 30 points ahead of Manchester United. Woo! Having only played 22 games, they are currently 16 points clear of Manchester City and Liverpool have a game in hand. It's over! Uh, yes, one would suggest it is most definitely over. This wasn't like a Liverpool United game that you played in even, no. that I grew up watching. No. Just the complete and utter difference in quality was there for everyone to see. It was men against boys. You know, people will give United credit for digging in when they could. But the truth That's of... an issue as well. Mm -hmm. If you're well, giving United exactly. a pat on the back, oh, it was only 2-0, you tried well, really hard. What has happened to this club? I mean, sit and listen to everyone after the game. That's kind of what I'm hearing. And, and the fact is, the only reason that they were in this game is because Liverpool's finishing wasn't good at all. You know, De Gea's made a couple of great saves. You've got, you've got Salah. How, this guy drives me mental. <laughs> Have you seen me sat in my bed this morning watching this game? Right, that's screaming a mental image. Right, again. <laughs> screaming at him. He couldn't, he couldn't control it every time. Every time he, he, it came to him, it bounced off him. And then he turns around and scores... I mean, it's an incredible goal. Yeah. I mean, just the fact that the distance he runs, he's holding a player off, he's still got the composure at the end of it and he puts it home. He drives me crazy. He's, he's been driving me crazy all season. But as a game, there was only one team, man. Mm. Really, come on. Yeah. I think you just mentioned the fact that a moral victory, apparently, nowadays, is good enough for Manchester United. That Solskjaer comes after the game and he's seemingly satisfied and happy with the performance. And yet you feel like going to him and saying, what in the world are you talking about? What, can, what game are you watching? Because outside of the Martial chance, and I guess you can make the case of the Pereira chance as well in the first half, yeah. that is it. That's, uh... That's it from, from Manchester United. And you have seen teams across the Premier League actually create those sort of chances, one or two of those a game against this version of Liverpool. Because even though Liverpool was far superior to Manchester United, this wasn't even the best version of Liverpool. They allow teams to hang around because they don't put games away the way that they did at times last year. That for whatever reason, this year, it seems more difficult for Liverpool to put games away, and yet they are 30 points ahead of Manchester United and 16 points ahead of everybody else, and they're going to run away with this league. It's not even the best version of Liverpool. And yet, between Liverpool and Manchester United, it's two different leagues. They are playing in two different fields. They are playing in two different realities. So moral victory, apparently that's a good thing for Manchester United and good enough now for Liverpool. It's yet another day where they step on the field, knowing full well they're going to win, executing just enough to win, and moving on with their lives. Before we get on to where United go, just quickly, the foul on De Gea for you, was that a foul? Yeah. Was it? When it, when it happened, I thought there was nothing wrong with it, but the truth is, when you see it again, it's a foul for me because Van Dijk gets ahead of the ball and he's jumping into the goalkeeper. It's not like he's jumping into another player to head the ball. He's jumping in, he's, t he's hitting the goalkeeper, and when you... The goal is coming with his hands. That, is, that affects him more than a normal player would. Can and I, that's why it's a foul. Can I just say, I agree with you that it's a foul. A couple of things. De Gea, if you know Van Dijk is coming, whatever happened with the old school, put your knee up here and allow Van Dijk to run right into your knee. I have no idea why goalkeepers have, have moved away from doing that. The other thing that I would say is the referee saw it right in front of him. He made a choice and a call in saying it's not a foul. And so then you have to talk about, well, is this a clear and obvious error? And if indeed that's the case, if we are now allowing referees in the Premier League to go and see the replay themselves, why do we not then say to the referee, hey, buddy, run over, see it again, evaluate your own perception and right. your own decision, yeah. and then you, you can make that decision yourself instead of somebody somewhere else making, making that call. Okay, again, that clear and obvious thing does my brains in. Listen, I think the referee did the right thing. He let the game go, the ball hit the back of the net, because he knows that... he knows That's that his lifeline. Like, that's his lifeline. Isn't that better than the referee just making a snap decision? And if it's wrong, then, unfortunately, somebody's going to suffer the consequences, as opposed to letting it hit the back of the net, and then you can check it. That's perfect for me. Well, but the lifeline, if he goes and see it, that's, that's a problem. No, he should, yeah. But that's the fact is, they got it right, because the guy got it right. Well, they told him, fine. but I'm 100%. I, 
He should be the one that makes the final decision. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.